UFC middleweight division fight. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's been on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up a full pitch lead. Or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say, he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Ronaldo Jacare Souza. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 22 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, Jack the Joker Hermansson. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. All right, here we go early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand Make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendous. Oh, man. He's in trouble. He 
he's hurt bad. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, he's going for his arm now. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He actually goes to an omoplata. Great pressure going forward by the top fighter now. You can certainly count on one brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Shakane Souza there. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, Souza's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And again, shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuff. 15 seconds to go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their oh, toll man. as this fight goes into the ladder round. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Nice. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Shakane Souza. And he landed the right hand there. Gets to the spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees Oh, nice fly. job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Leg kick checked by Souza. Now connects with a right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping his wood with his leg kick. Sosa gets hit by that leg kick. Big ball from Brunch Man. Now we'll get back to range. Ooh! And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Oh, he might have got it with a choke. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter that's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch in his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in the zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool for the beginning of this round. He might get a finish here. And he's out. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Shakane Souza. Pretty significant welt to the left side. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing That'll walk. do it! That'll do it! He's done! He's done! <laughs> oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at one minute, 53 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Jack the Joker, Herb Hansen. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight,